up, is it? No, it should work. All right, well then, here are uh, stupid. Well, we'll test them. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I got something to tell you. Yeah, dude, dude, I got something to tell you today, like what just happened. I went to go dine out with my family. We went to this restaurant. We went to. I don't know what in the fuck happened to that place, bro. Like, I don't know what happened. Okay, so here's what happened. So I did a reservation for seven, and we got there. We got to see it, like a little bit afterwards because there was a bunch of people coming in, like big ass fucking people. Damn. Yeah. And. Oh, I was gonna say, did you get cut off? <laughs> like, dude, oh. dude, what happened is that oh god, dude, I, we were waiting there for. Okay, so we got there at six thirty. We didn't, we didn't get seated around like six forty-five. We didn't leave that place until eight thirty. Oh shit! Yeah, because oh. literally, we were waiting so fucking long on our food. The other tables around us were honestly getting their food, and especially when they were big parties. Right, we were just like a like a group of four. We were sitting there. We were trying to get it. We finally got our appetizers. Okay, fine. We got our food. Crust. The lasagna I got was so short. It looks like the tomato sauce was honestly like putting everything in there. Like what? I noticed that the carbonara, dude. It's so. F they ha barely put any fucking like carbon. They barely put any. Carbon R in there, and they put on a flat dish to, to trick you. Oh, because I remember the Carbon R plates. The Carbon R they served back then, like when we, the last time we went there, it was so big, I almost left like a quarter of it. But now, like, it was so little on that plate where my brother says, Dude, I like ate that, and I still feel like I'm hungry. <laughs> and my, oh my god, my mom, she got the worst of it all. She got this chicken dish with risotto and grilled vegetables. Dude, how in the fuck can they fuck up risotto? They, dude, they didn't season it or anything. No mushrooms, no like chicken stock, no Parmesan cheese, no nothing, bro. It literally tastes like air. Oh, Jesus. Uh, and bro, I think they charged us in total literally uh, one thirty-five for that shit. Jesus. Yeah. And we waited so long, dude. We literally waited there for like six forty to fucking eight thirty. Six forty to eight thirty. That by that, I think after an hour I would have left. Yeah, because I was like, dude, what the fuck is going on, bro? I don't know when the hell was going on, man. Like, I could have swore like we got like served, we got our iced tea like reserved like what is it like five fucking times. I was just like. Bruh, I'm a patient person, but that shit was honestly just starting to eat at my patients really quick. Like, uh I would eat at my patients, too. That would have aggravated Bruh. me. You know what's the fucked up part, too? What? Out of the whole entire day, that is the only time I ate. And earlier today, I was helping my fucking like, family, like, prune the fucking palm trees, like, or the coconut trees, like, in the in our front yard and shit and pruning this big ass like uh i don't know what type of tree it was but it's this, it's this tree that like shakes a bunch of like flowers or petals down to the floor and it just kept like getting all over our backyard and same thing with the neighbors well we pruned the tree and we just chopped it all up dude i don't know how in the fuck i didn't eat all day and i somehow had energy to pick up big ass tree branches and drag them to the front of the street for garbage collection day. <laughs> hey, when you're hungry, you're hungry. Shit. Dude, I didn't, I didn't have no breakfast. All I just had like for fuel was like, I just drank some like calamansi or like uh, Filipino orange juice. Like, and I just drank that. And then I was just going at those, like dragging those big ass like tree branches. Like how in the, Help me up. I don't know. It, it boggled me. Yeah, that would bother me. It just Ari. surprised me. Alright, alright, you're down. Yeah, the, this guy's got the smart disc. Kibble, kibble. Hey, is that an M4 you're using? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that's an M4. Oh, God, pixels. Pixels everywhere. Shit.
This mission was a bust. Over here. Oh, abort! Abort! Yeah, he I... he wasn't fucking around. This guy. Get over here and help me. Yeah. Oh, Bruh, fuck. I'm literally. Get over here. Dude, I'm like so fucking hungry. I. What's weird is I I ate my lasagna, and yet I still feel like I'm fucking hungry. <laughs> I'm probably gonna go get like a fucking like paleta, so, like a pineapple paleta or something right now to like cool myself down. Hey, uh, Rocky, you want my great grandfather's quote for whenever he was very hungry? What is it? I'm so, he would say, I'm so hungry I could eat a skunk's asshole. <laughs> oh, dear. Dude, you know what? <laughs> Dude, you know what? You know, That's creative. You know what my brother said once we. Finally, like, yeah. left out of that uh, restaurant. What? It's the year 1837, and I'm still starving. <laughs> hey, Bless you. Oh, there. Bless you. Oh, that shit yeah. made me laugh so hard. I was like, he said, it's oh. 1837, and I'm still starving. Jesus. I would be... I... Yeah. I'm trying to think, what's my worst restaurant experience? What is... What is it? I'm think my I, th I guess if I had to pinpoint like my worst restaurant experience, it would have to be a Chinese restaurant I went to. Oh Jesus, sorry. That's gotta be terrifying. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. Was it? A, no, it was. Either, I have two. One where we didn't even get to go into the restaurant, and one where we did get to experience it. We went. So, the one that was, like, I think I was 13 at the time. My mother and father had been wanting to go back to this Chinese restaurant that they apparently went to. And stop the bleeding. we went, so they took me, my brother, and sister, and we, so we go, and it was the most uncomfortable atmosphere ever. Oh, God, he's using the smart disc. Bro, is it me, like, I don't know about this, but is it me, or do, like, I have a handful of, like, experiences, like, a handful of my worst restaurant experiences do kind of come from, like, a few Chinese restaurants I've been to. Like, like what? Hmm. It's like the weird part is, you know, there's a Chinese restaurant that is in the area. People there are just fucking wonderful. They actually have known me since I was a little kid because my parents have been going there for years. The same thing with this one, uh lady that uh for like our chinese re here's the weird thing i've noticed literally out of all the restaurants that we see that my family seems to honestly go like on a switching uh game for you know what i mean like where you have to switch restaurants because either one you know one's probably closed permanently or you know something or whatever you know that feeling zach yeah i know that feeling like, where you have to look for a new restaurant because, you know, it permanently closed oh, or something. No. Oh, no. Happened. Oh. Huh. Oh. Bruh, I swear. The amount of restaurants that I keep showing up where our family keeps doing that, it, it's a lot of Chinese restaurants. I don't know why. Like, the one we used to go to, like, for a majority of my childhood, well, that closed in uh, 2009. Yeah. Well, my brother was growing up, and then we had to go for another one, and then the recent one uh, that we went and been to for the last five years, honestly, or no, five or six years. Um, the lady that we knew for a lot of times, because she would recognize that we would come in a lot of times. Even like, what's the funny thing is that even when I ordered from her. Like on the phone, she kind of already know like who I was and whatnot. And then when I'm a clone, she's like, "Oh, how's your mom and whatnot?" I was like, "Oh, she's doing good. Thanks for asking." Right. Literally, that restaurant. I don't know what happened. Um, I don't know if it it went under new management because she wasn't there anymore. I was like, "Well, what happened?" Okay. At this That's... point, at this point, we need to focus on destroying that predator. I don't think we're gonna make it out alive. He's got us pinned down. You might as well go. You might as well go out trying, right? Yeah. Fuck that. I'm gonna run to the objective. Over here. Okay. Oh, you son of a bitch. 
I don't know. I guess, like, one thing I'm not a fan. One thing I kind of don't like in Chinese restaurants that they always have a 50 50 on is when they give you soup. And when there's a lot of bean sprouts oh, in it, where it makes the, the soup broth like kind of murky. What's he doing? At this point, he's taunting. Because it's like, I get up, he knocks me down first. Okay, guys, we need to stick together as a group. Fuck it, we're going for it. Everyone just. Oh, if we're, there we go. It's us versus him at this point. We can't get to the. Objective. Yeah. He's using the smart disc. Oh, fuck that shit. I'm going. Like if we, it's either we kill him or we complete the objective. He That's needs to completely damn. kill us all, but we've been perseverant. That's good. God damn it, stupid line. I'm dumb. To... And I would try and. Fuck. There you go. I'm all out of syringes. Mud yourself up, man. Yeah. But yeah, like, the. I. But in terms of like my worst restaurant experience is one that I didn't even have. Gee, you want to know about that? Oh, okay. So when I was back in 2017, when we were visiting New York City, my dad has this tendency to choose restaurants that are high end because he likes oh. high quality food. Well, here's what happened. Well, here's what happened. So he picked this Romanian restaurant near Times Square. Oh we shit. Go we go there. We had a reservation. And they don't let us in. They, what? They, yeah, they claim that we, we're already booked. And it's like, we already have re reservations. So, so that would mean there should be a spot saved for you all. It was uh -huh. empty. There, it was it, barely full, dude. There were maybe a few people in there. It's like they... Oh, my name is my seven weeks work with that, I'm going to see. We... Me... We've mostly come to the conclusion that... He that the it's likely that they turned us away because we didn't look like their type of customers. Oh, there goes my partner. That's a mm. that's got that's got to be a horrifying thing to see. Like you watch your friend get down and you might be next. I'm not gonna make it. Mm. But yeah, it's like we've concluded that they just they didn't they felt like that they didn't like that we came in casual clothing. Hmm. Hmm. So, Honestly, yeah, they... my reason what my other than the restaurant experience this night I had with oh, my family. I'm dead. I think the other the other restaurant I didn't seem to enjoy was when it's all up when we now. went down to a vacation to San Diego. Just hang in there. We got this. Far. We were. Driving up all the way back there and stuff, and whatnot. For um, it, it, it was like three or four in the in the afternoon, and by the time we got into LA, are you watching LA, this? Are you watching the way that predator is playing? Yeah. They're taunting. They're playing. It's like it's, it's like I killed all your guys. Now let's make this. I'm gonna I'm gonna help you and kill everybody here except you. We're gonna one v one this shit. Yeah. So get out of there. By the time I we got to LA, my dad was telling me, "Oh, I'm gonna take it to this chicken place and whatnot." And I asked him, "Well, what part of LA is it? Because you know LA is fucking big." And he said, "Oh, it's in Compton." I'm like, "I'm like, wait, what?" <laughs> I was like, "Compton." I'm like, "Are you serious?" So yeah. So the first thing I thought in my head was like, "Okay, it's gotta be like one of those places like Louisiana's." Uh, Fried chicken or something like one of those things that I've seen, and <gasps> she's actually gonna take it on one v one. I was thinking one of, those, one of those soul food places, but then my dad just said, "Oh, like yes, I'm not, you got tacos and stuff," and I'm like, "Oh, wait, it's gonna be one of those places." And by the time we pulled up, I'm so nervous. I hope this player can actually pull this spot. off. 
Sorry, it's like I, I'm, I'm listening, but at the same time, I'm watching this player try yeah, to no salvage worries. salvage the mission. Over here. It's all good. Right, but the time we got to that chicken restaurant, like in Compton one night, I was like, Get them off "Dude, here. I had like the biggest deflated, like disappointed face." I was like, "What is this?" <laughs> yeah, I don't talking. know how to call it. It's like. It was a Mexican joint, but here was the weird thing. Oh, oh no, me. she didn't make it. How did Bruh, she my... got blown up, I think. Oh, no. Bruh, my dad literally oh, lied to us that, oh, if not, they have tacos and guess what he has one. Because that's why I usually go for it or something like that. I looked at the menu, bro. There was not a, a single damn thing that said tortas, tacos, quesadillas, nothing of that, bro. It just said... Uh, pollo, grilled pollo plate, uh, chorizo plate, uh, fish plate. I was like, dude, it literally looked like the same damn food that I would get at those like parties where he dra dragged us along to where his co workers would get like drunk and whatnot. It looked like the same damn food that I got at those parties. I'm like, for real? Ooh, I got the silent, uh, trait. I can use that. I don't know. It's like, I'm right. gonna explain, like, the plate. A big ass plate, plastic freaking utensils, um, <laughs> bruh, chicken that looks like it was flipped too many times on the grill, man, and, like where it's dry, where it's like chicken jerky, bruh, rice, beans, whole beans, and they were soaking wet, and like powdered looking like instant guacamole, because it was like, what was it fresh green, it was like dark olive green, I was like, ugh. I got nine more levels, and then I can get the Jesse Ventura Root. weapon. I can't wait. <laughs> I'm almost there. Like, there's yeah, this, they still got the 30% boost, so I can get there pretty quickly. So I'm probably just going to play that for the rest of the stream. I'm, cu Bro. I'm curious to see if I can get it. All Bro, right. I'm not a picky eater, but the fact that I wasn't eating anything on the plate and I was drinking more of my drink, that's when you know I didn't like the food. Hmm. Bruh, and we're talking like, about like bad restaurant know. experiences. Yeah. yeah, I can't really think like, of anything honestly. Like, nothing comes to mind. I've had mostly. Dude, like, the... I mean, dude, the freaking chicken I got. That shit was like chicken jerky, but it was like pulling on a leather strap. Like, oh, damn. <laughs> I was like trying to, quote unquote, like trying to eat the rice. <laughs> Until I noticed when I was picking up something, when I picked up another sp grain, uh, spoonful of grains, like towards my mouth, I noticed, dude, there was a fucking hair in my rice. Ooh, that's not good. That's not I was good. like, what? That, the that fuck? does remind me. There was one experience we had. We were at uh, KFC, and it was this Taco Bell and KFC combo store. I don't know if you guys have seen them, but it's like. Yeah, we were, we have like two. Yeah, it's like a Wendy's and a Taco Bell or, or Wendy's. No, not Wendy's and Taco. It was like KFC and like another. Bit, yeah. KFC something. and uh, and uh, what's it? A and W. A and W. Yeah. The so, one that's over there by those bangers, I sometimes that, pass by and I see the it one. there. That's where it happened. So like we went yeah. there, and we had a family gathering. We were eating, and so my sister opens up one of the hot dog, like she ordered like a, um, like a chili dog or whatever. She opened. No, it was like cheese, cheese and chili dog, chili cheese dog. Opens up, chili cheese dog. and there was a hair clip on in the hot dog. Oh Jesus! Christ. Yeah, somebody's oh. fucking clip on. It's like, dude, fucking gross. That's gross. That yeah, is we gross. Yeah, we gave it back. Like, and we we're like, yo, what the fuck? Whose fucking makeup fell apart in the back rooms? <laughs> Jeez. That is Isn't there like a little Mexican like a mini mart like right next to that like? I think uh, so. KMC and A and, a and w. yeah, um, what's kind of funny, Ari, is that you literally mentioned that I was like, oh, I already know which one and whatnot, because it's like right next to this little Mexican mini mart that I keep stopping by if I have to go. Yeah, my, with all those like, car my, dealerships like, and shit. Yeah, I think it's on Pacheco Boulevard. Yeah, if you I want, almost but... know, I almost worked there, but I was like, eh, fast food's just not for me. I don't want to get back into fast food. <laughs> I'm thinking, yeah, it's like, well, I was telling you that and whatnot, because 
the one spot that I keep passing by in those miners all the time, if I come like towards like the way like where my or my one of my relative lives in Fresno and whatnot, when I have to when we have to go visit them. If I had to drive there on my own, like I stop by that little Mexican mini mart place when I cause dude. They have some good ass fucking like juices in there, like Guanabana juice, like oh it's so good to even find those things. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, the one I'm trying to think, like, in terms of like restaurants that had bad food, um I'm thinking of this uh, place that I went to near Niagara Falls when in on the Canadian side. The my dad, because once again, this is because of my dad. My dad has this tendency whenever we go out, you know. What is this greasy taste? He he he's the type who prefers to not go to a commercial chain. There was a Tim Hortons, but he didn't want to go there. He wanted to go to this. Ah, uh, he wanted to go to this other. Uh, restaurant like this place that supposedly had good reviews you know so we go yeah so we go there and it was just not that good the their pancakes you know tasted like they were bought in a store their sausages were awful dude I know like when the sausage tastes nasty is that they had that kind of weird like 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 porky stank smell yeah and it's like yeah, my dad... You know, like, when a to... pork smells stank? Yeah, my dad... I, Me and my mother, you know, we all were like, yeah, this place is not that good. And even my dad was like, yeah, this place is not, it's not good, so... I hope these guys yeah. have reinforcements. It was so disappointing that, like, uh, fucking... That restaurant that we had to go to this night, because we've been there twice before. And honestly, the last two times were good. I'm like, I don't know how the fuck they oh. fucked up so bad, like... Ever since we came back, I'm like, dude, what happened? Damn, if you weren't in the middle of an online game, I would show you this. Sorry, this is probably the best bottom view of a flat cap I've ever drawn in a while. Uh, I can check it after this. Yeah, you know, I'll take a screenshot and I'll show you it afterwards. But yeah, it's like, oh, this looks a lot better. That, like, I've always struggled to draw the bottom part of a flat cap, and it's like, I think I found something that works now. A lot of these. The local team. My grenade, my fly, my uh, grenades actually did some damage on the Predator. I just hope these guys can follow it up. These look like the kind of players that would tr at least try to finish the mission, like the last one. Last time I played this, I had mostly guys going in just to kill the Predator outright, and god, that was a fucking mess. Oh. Uh, like, they they want to go in and fight the Predator head on, and like most of the time they do it at the cost of like f completely forgetting that there were other people on the team. <laughs> you have every game. It's like the other team. Have... It's like the other team member was expendable. He died for nothing. We could we could sacrifice him. Fuck him. <laughs> we every you know, we always come across that one player who's only in it for himself. You know. Yeah. Let me check the other. And player. then and then when the and then when the team gets annihilated, you know, they blame everyone else. Yeah. Like I've noticed that. Like, you know, it's funny. I was looking back at my uh some of my old chats that are on the PS4. I did not realize how many people I had pissed off with my own gameplay. Alright, reinforce Dude, I was in a HPV, like, a session in uh, Battlefront 2. Dude, someone said on the fucking game chat, like, oh my god, like, now I got the stupid bar on my team. And I was like, <clears throat> this fucking high level, like, player, he was so mad that the bot switched over onto his team because another uh, one of somebody on. My team like left for the next game. Where the high level dude, he's like, "Fuck this, I'm going to another game," and he just left. And I'm, I laughed seeing that shit. Here, I need <laughs> to. I'm going to look right now. I'm, because I've got, I've had so many people accuse me of cheating because, you know, they thought that I was. Um, it's it's hilarious. Like, Dude, I've gotten similar shit, like, in my last days of, like, playing GTA Online, like, probably, like, a year ago. 
where I just went in there to go grind a little bit for that new fucking content and the you know the the rapper industry content. I did all that shit. Literally, dude, like, when I went in there, you know, minding my own business, I get a notification that says, oh, some players are wanting to boot you from the fucking session, uh, the session or something. And I'm looking at the other levels, I'm like, there's eight people in here. And three of them, or four of them, are fucking low levels. Are you si What bitches, bro? And you know what I did? What? You left? Nope. Before I left, I basically found where they were on the map, blew on my damn head. What is it, the... The Mark II, uh, the fucking Presser? hover the box. Oppressor? Yeah, the, the dude, I literally got on my, I was inside my, uh, what the fuck is it called? The, the truck where it has the oppressor. I was in there. So I was doing my biz, and these fuckers are literally trying to boot me out because of that. I was like, you know what? Before I leave the session, let me go find a few of them, and let me just go blow them up with the oppressor. Because I, I had enough of this shit. So I basically went, like, I got into my oppressor, just, Cracked my knuckles and basically found them on the map, zoomed over and just like, <laughs> just blew them up. I told them, next time, stop being a bitch. I'm trying to kick me out. Enjoy the damn game, you fucker. <laughs> my only guess, my only very likely guess is because uh, we have we've done this before as well. Is that sometimes there people have become so used to the stereotype that an oppressor user is a uh griefer. is is a griefer yeah and so they it's likely they wanted to do something but they were afraid you would that's my only explanation that doesn't Dude. excuse them <laughs> that doesn't excuse their actions but it's like <laughs> yeah it, i literally wasn't doing shit bro i was on the oppressor trying to get the point a to point b like faster because i'm gonna just be real at the Literally just trying to drive into GTA is honestly just a chore because you have to drag your ass on the fucking highway to one side of the empty ass map to the other. And I'm like, dude, I could literally just get on the oppressor, just, just hover over these goddamn mounds like nothing and then just be on my way. <laughs> I have a lot of the hate that I got from players was from uh, was from Battlefield 1 because I played the hell out of that game. I have one guy who me who replied to me with shotgun trash, trash because you know, just because I used a shotgun in one of the matches. Dude, I had the same thing happen to me in Battlefront 2 when I'm in each in Heroes vs. Villains, and whenever I pull up on the dark side, I either pull up as Vader or Dooku. Dude, when I pull up as Dooku on like a bunch of fucking like a four stacked team on the other other side, and there's three other high levels, and I'm just like bodying them like left and right cutting them into fucking ribbons it's like <laughs> it's like i'm sorry but i'm just too proficient with dooku i just like i know how to fucking work with them it's like i slash somebody up in the front when they're not blocking then i go over to the side slap them a bit on the back go over to the other side slap them more until they die and when it's just like pinballing it's like hit you a bit from the front go back hit you a bit from the back come over you get too close lightning shot and oh dead this one's funny. This user, this user whose username, mind you, is called Offends XU, and he and he sent me a message that said, in caps, PSN reported cheater broadcast sent to Dice. I'm like, sometimes if I get those things wrong, I'm like, dude, just cry me a river, bitch. <laughs> I, I said, I honestly was confused. I was like, cheater, what are you talking about? I'm like, cheater, I'm like, is it me, or do you just suck at the game and whatnot? <laughs> That's another one. For real, it's like... One of those dudes said, like, oh my god. He, he gave me the laughing emoji with the trash emoji. I'm like, dude, says the Boba Fed player that literally keeps fucking backing away every time I get too close to him when I give you a couple whacks. Here's another. Here's another one. I'm guy is like you've been reported to EA. Mind you, you with Oof. just capital U. Hey, you made it out. Yeah, I got kind of lost because I didn't know where everyone. Everyone was like zipping ahead. I gotta keep track of these guys. Here, let me. Here, when you're that ready, I'll show you. That predator didn't seem like he followed us. Like he encountered us once and then he got lost. I think. I don't know why in the hell. Yeah, this. Yeah, this guy's like, you've been reported to EA, and I'm like, for what exa for what exactly, bud? And he's like, you trash lagging bum Wi-Fi surf service. Okay, let me check. This I'm out. like, I'm like, bro, if I was there, I would tell him, dude, did 
was English not your first language? Because you really fucked up that sentence there trying to describe my problem. <laughs>